Uh, so I finally got something I never thought I would ever get. A treadmill. This thing doesn't seem like it's one of those heavy duty treadmills, but we will give it a full on test and give you guys a proper review so you can see if this is something that you might want to get. It did seem very interesting when I did see it on the website. I, of course, do prefer running outside. I do prefer doing my cardio in other ways besides running as well. But having a treadmill at home, how can you say no to that? Especially when it's something like what I'm about to show you guys that takes up very little space. So before we, you know, start talking more and more, let's get right into it. Let's unbox this bad boy. Now, you know how we do every unboxing. We use the Viking Axe. I will keep this one short and sweet so we can get right into the product review. If you want to skip ahead to it, you can go on the timeline there, skip the unboxing, and get right into the product test and product review. Now, this is the Lachico walking pad treadmill. So maybe we can't even run on this thing. But as I said, that's why we do these reviews so we can test it for you before you decide whether you want to buy it or not. Let's open it up, chop it with the ax. Carefully not to chop my fingers. All right, yeah, I think this thing is gonna be very easy. No assembly required. Now, since this thing is just one piece, it should just pop right out of the box and be very, very simple to set up. I'm just gonna get this plastic bag off of it. Pull this up. Uh, and that is it, you guys. That is the simplest unboxing I have done on this channel. Let's go. I wish they were all this easy. Now, this thing obviously plugs right into the wall. And then there's a power switch or a power button right on the back. Turns on. It's got a little display right here. All right, now this thing comes with a remote. Let's see if the batteries are in this remote or if we have to go get our own batteries. Yep, batteries are in here. We can press play. It's gonna start beeping and it should send us. There we go. This thing works. Now this thing is advertised as a walking pad. So I wonder if you can actually run on it or not. You can see here roughly how many calories you're going to burn, um, the duration of however long you've been going, and I think the speed as well. It is nice because most treadmills take up space, and this thing does not. Now, very simple controls. You got your remote, now your power button, your stop and go button. Once you hit start, you get a three second timer until this thing starts moving. Now, we are going to test just how fast this thing can go. So this says 0.5 is the speed, which is the lowest. We're going to up it. We're at one. Okay. 2.6. This is more of a faster paced walk. Can't really, I wouldn't say it's jogging yet. We're at three. Okay. Four. It maxes out at four. It's like a power walk speed. So you're not going to be doing any sprints on this. But this is not a slow walk. This is not your average, you know, walk around the block with your dog. This is kind of a faster pace. You can jog on it. This is about as fast as you're going to end up going on this. It's a light jog. Not too shabby for what the product offers. So walking pad slash jogging pad. I'll give you guys a little POV. So you hit your little play on like your standard, you know, treadmill. And I'm going to show you guys just how fast this thing actually feels like you're going when you get to full speed. You know, I can see this being kind of cool if you have like a desk job and you get a standing desk. You put this under your standing desk and now instead of sitting while you type, you can type while walking on the treadmill. Now, I'm going to show you guys a few drawbacks that I'm already noticing with this thing. All right. So one thing. I've noticed is it's not very big, which is, I guess, a plus if you have a very small confined space. If you have longer legs and a long and a bigger stride, I don't have very long legs, but watch here. Like 
if I start going faster, you can see like a few, a few of my steps when I was testing it almost came off of the machine. So like off of the back. So you can see like, this is me with my stride and I'm basically using up all the space. So if you've got longer legs and you're on the taller side, you're gonna have to really chop your steps. Cause when I got up to speed, I could feel my foot almost slipping off the back on some of the steps. So definitely keep that into consideration if you decide to get one of these, because if you're on the longer, taller side, you may run into a problem of potentially, you know, having to chop your steps. Now one plus is it's very light. I mean, I can just pick it up and move it wherever I want to move it. You know, most treadmills that come, the ones that you can sprint and run on are big. And if they're not on wheels, good luck moving that thing by yourself. It's gonna be a huge pain. So this thing, you know, is nice because it's mobile and it's fairly flat. So I can see the potential of even taking this to the office at work. If you've got like an SUV or just stick it in your back seat, it's not heavy where you're gonna have trouble getting in and out of your car. So, you know, going to the hotel and you don't feel like using the treadmills in the gym there, or you're staying somewhere for an extended period of time, like a week somewhere, you can bring this along set it up, get your steps in instead of going outside if you don't want to be outside. So great alternative for that because it's light, compact, and easy to move around. And also because of the size, it's not going to take up a lot of space in your home. So there's another plus with this thing. Now I will say this, it is advertised as a walking pad and that is exactly what it is. So they're not promising you something else it's not a treadmill for running but overall i think it's something cool to have if you walk a lot or if you have like a standing desk at work i don't have a standing desk here but you could set this thing up in front of your tv turn that tv on and get your steps in while you're watching your favorite shows if you are just buying it for the walking purposes i think it's a 4.5 out of 5. if it had an incline that you could adjust on this thing. I guess technically you could stick something under it where it wouldn't affect the belt if you're in, you know, if you're, if you've got some ingenuity where you could prop it up safely, now you can walk on an incline. That is very good for burning that, you know, stubborn visceral fat that you can burn if you keep that heart rate low. Now, as a walking pad, this thing is, I think right now you can get it for 40% off, a great price for what you get for it being, you know, a essentially a walking treadmill. You're not gonna find a better price than that. You're not gonna find it lighter than that, more compact. If it could have a slight incline or a way to like prop it up, if they added like a stand on the end where you can, you know, flip out legs to make it a slight incline, that would be perfect for a walking pad. Um, and that would bump me up to a five out of five for them. But I give this thing a solid 4.5 out of five because it is a solid piece of equipment. It is advertised as a walking pad and that is exactly what it does. So if you guys want something like this or you want to get one for yourself, I 100% recommend it for walking at home in your office, um, in your living room, in front of your TV. It's a great way to burn some extra calories while you're doing other things around the house, around the office. So if you guys want one, I'll have the link in the description for where you can get it. If you pick yourself up one, I would love to hear about your experience with it and how you use it. So if you use it at work at your desk, use it in front of your TV while you're watching something, definitely let me know. Drop a like, drop a comment, and uh, let me know if there's another product out there that you guys want me to review and uh, check out for you so I can test it before you go and spend any money on it. No. Oh, fail. Oh my God.